Breaking news now on 13 on your side. Breaking tonight, the urgent search for a family of four missing from Fremont. The Serigliano family was last seen four days ago. Police say Anthony, Suzette, Brandon and Noah Serigliano were last heard from on Sunday. Family members say their disappearance is out of the ordinary. We have team coverage tonight. Nate Belt talked with neighbors just a short time ago what they're saying tonight. But first, Micah Cho is live with the very latest in the investigation. As of right now, there's no word on where the Serigliano family is headed. Anthony Serigliano may have his phone, but hasn't used it. And Suzette and their two sons left their phones at home. Michigan State Police say that Anthony was experiencing paranoid behaviors on Sunday the 16th. On Monday the 17th, Fremont Police Chief Tim Rodwell says the family likely left their home anywhere from 4 to 8 p.m. Police say they left behind an elderly family member home alone. A 911 call to check on that family member is what led to the investigation. Chief Rodwell told us today that they're not treating anyone like a suspect as of, as of right now and adds that through their investigation, they haven't found signs of found signs of foul play. We have no signs of foul play, no signs of struggle, no signs of violence inside the home, no property damage or anything like that. That would lead us to uh, see if this was a suspicious issue. Chief Rodwell adds that the family may be in a silver 2005 Toyota Sienna minivan with the plate numbers DJL1982. I did ask the chief if he knew about any firearms that Anthony or any of the family members may be in possession of. He said that he was unaware. If you have any information on the whereabouts of the family, you're urged to call the Fremont Police Department. We're now live in Fremont, Micah Cho. People who live nearby say the Seriglianos are good neighbors. And right now, neighbors say they are hoping for a safe return. Nate Belt continues our team coverage. And Nate, has there been any police activity in the neighborhood since you've been there? Yeah, Juliet, actually, we've been here uh, a few hours now and right here at the home of the Serigliano family behind me. We did see several cop cars earlier today as well as a fire truck. Now, uh, a few of the officers got out, attempted to get in the front door. They went around the house through the back gates, uh, trying to get inside the home is what it looked like was going on. They were looking for, uh, uh, looked like they were looking for keys on the front, checking under stones. Uh, uh, there are a couple Halloween decorations, uh, um, some jars that they're looking under. Uh, eventually Eventually, a family member, uh, we believe a family member, did show up because uh, a car backed into the garage. Uh, that car, uh, as far as we know, is still inside the garage at this time. Uh, we talked with a few neighbors today right next door, Sue Schondelmeyer. She tells us uh, the, the Ceriglianos were always good people to her. She said her power went out one time and, and Tony let her use uh, his, his generator to keep the power on in her home. She said he didn't even ask for them to pay, uh, to pay for the gas that went to that generator. Uh, just down the street on the other side, Josh Brinkman tells us he uh, and his family are family friends with, with the Ceriglianos and uh, he, he said they have always been good to him, good friends. Uh, they just talked about a month ago, and he said it was just a uh, uh, normal conversation. Nothing seemed out of out of the ordinary. So again, neighbors saying this is completely out of left field for them, and they're hoping to hear back from the family soon. For now, we want to send it back to the studio. I'm Nate Belt. Thank you, Nate. If you are just joining us, police in Fremont are looking for a missing family of four. The Ceriglianos were last seen Sunday before their disappearance. Suzette Ceregliano told police her husband Anthony was acting paranoid. Police tell us all of their phones are turned off. The family may be driving a silver 2005 Toyota Sienna, similar to this one. It has Michigan plates, number DJL1982. Anyone with information is asked to call Fremont Police Department. 13 is on your side, staying on top of this story. Stay with us for updates both on air and online.